Last night, I, um, I couldn't sleep knowing that I would be here today. And so I decided to go and get gas. Um, <laughs> lo and behold, I got a flat. And I could not get home without driving on my rim. Um, and this morning, I saw that flat again because I was not going to deal with it, knowing that I would see you today. Now, do you hear any strong desire in this? going to drive on his rim before he's going to miss this day <laughs> you really ruined that tire didn't you I really ruined that tire <laughs> no coming back for that tire no coming back for that tire but there are plenty of other tires where that one came from absolutely right that's what I realized right and I don't know I'm just so grateful to see you in person I watch you every day well take it easy and have fun because there's nothing serious going on here or really anywhere there are a whole lot of people that need things to feel serious in order to validate or justify their existence but you don't have to validate your existence your existence validates your existence your being here so focus on what really matters which is how you feel and that's what we call calibration Calibrate. In other words, feel your way to the best feeling you can find in any moment in time. And if you can't find one, it's okay. Big stuff must have been going on. Take a nap. Do something to break the attraction. And here's why. We're just going to lay a sort of basis for this and for what's coming next. In every moment as you're moving about in your consciousness, you know about that. Your consciousness was active all night long. We're not recommending that. Sleeping is good too. But as you're moving around your environment of past, present, or future, we mean your thought environment, we mean your observational environment, we mean your desire environment, we mean your memory environment. As you're moving around your environment, you're walking into, and Esther's been reaching for the word because it's an atmosphere. This law of attraction is an atmosphere. Esther's been because we offer blocks of thought and she reaches for words that match up to that block of thought the block of thought is happening at an unconscious level and so she reaches for the words that are in her vocabulary she doesn't speak other languages so those words aren't accessible to her but she reaches for blocks of thought so what is this that Abraham's defining here describing here an atmosphere was the best word and then last week for the Abraham now broadcast someone wrote in an email and said I think the scientific word that Esther is looking for is field like there's the field of gravity and Esther felt the resonance of that yes field is a really good word for that so there's this law of attraction this field Einstein was looking for a unifying field it was the last thing he talked about the last thing he wrote about the law of attraction is it the law of attraction is the unifying field that is present in all science present in all biologies present in all aspects of all things and what it says is that which is likened to itself is drawn in other words it's vibrational matches it's what makes the world go round so you're walking around in this vibrational field and it's like and this is a rough analogy Esther's been reaching for analogies to define it the way she can feel it but it's like you're a bag of marbles a bag of metal marbles and everybody else is too and when you enter the field of the law of attraction with your bag of marbles those marbles they don't all connect to every other marble because they're different marbles and the law of attraction they're different marbles the law of attraction is only going to bring the marbles that match together so you walk in with your victim marbles and if there's anybody in the vicinity that is a match to you well then it's a relationship for a moment when Jerry began visiting with us way back in the beginning of our co-creation he said to us one day Abraham I think there should be islands of incarceration the murderers should all go to one island and do it to each other and the thieves should all go to one island and do it to each other and the rapers should all go to one island and do it to each other and we said those vibrational islands exist this law of attraction field makes sure of that 
Jerry didn't like hearing that because he said, why does the victim end up on the same island with the victimizer? It's because there's a vibrational match. What you push against, you offer a vibration about. What you fear, you are calling to you. There's no such thing as no in this attraction-based universe. There's only yes. So when you see something you really don't want and you shout no at it or even think no at it, you're actually saying, come to me this thing I do not want. And then even as it's becoming, long before it becomes so critical, even as it's becoming, the discord that you feel is your indication that you're out of whack with who you really are and your own desire. It's not about the person that you're shouting no at. It's not about the evidence. It's not about the manifestation that you're shouting no at. It's about you giving your attention to the opposite of who you've become and causing a tug of war within you, which is what negative emotion is. Positive emotion is when you feel great, when you feel satisfied, when you feel eager, when you feel in love or love, when you feel appreciation or any of that stuff that feels like empowerment, that's you and your inner being all in sync. That's you calibrating to that, you see. So we're really happy to have this conversation with you. We know you know what we just said. We just want you to know it so much that you relieve yourself, release the feeling of wanting to defend anything. Esther came through the security and she checked a bag. She hasn't been checking a bag because she just thought it'd be easier not to, but she missed her pillow and she missed her clothing steamer and some stuff. So she checked a bag, but one of her hair products, she put it in her carry on bag, just like she always did. She came through security and they took it away from her. <laughs> and she looked at this man and she thought, why would you do that to me? And she explained to him, oh, if you knew how far that's traveled with me in my carry on bag. And then she thought she knew what the rule was. She just thinks it's a stupid rule. <laughs> she felt disappointed because hard stuff to find really it's hard stuff to find and her hair doesn't look nearly as good as she wanted it to because you know you know how that goes maybe you know how that goes and then she thought now i know how people feel about the deep state <laughs> oh she took that train far down the road didn't she there's rules that i don't agree with Somebody should do something about that. And then a lady behind her said, I just paid $8 for this bottle of water and you're going to take it away from me. And Esther looked at her and wanted to say, yes, yeah, sister. <laughs> you tell them. And then Esther thought, this isn't going to go anywhere. They're going to take your water and they're going to take my hair product. And what am I going to do about this incredible injustice <laughs> what are you going to do about your perceived injustice what are you going to do you're going to make it bigger you're going to join a club you're going to fight hard against that because there are a lot of people that think that's how you make things better just get a whole bunch of people to push really hard against them when what's really happening is Every time somebody lives what they don't want, you ask for what you do want. Now, Esther never really thought about that hair product being in her vortex. <laughs> but what is in her vortex is guidance. She thought about throwing it in the other bag. Inspired thought from us. <laughs> but it's been in this bag forever. Poof. Not anymore. It'll never be in that bag again. It'll never be in any of Esther's bags again. It's long gone. So sometimes it seems like it's great, big, really important things. There are a lot of big causes in this world, things you care deeply about. And we get that, but you know what makes up the majority of your point of attraction are things like that. Just little slights, things just not going the way you want them to someone looking at you the wrong way or someone in a place of insecurity, not feeding you the way you would like to be fed in that moment and you coming to conclusions that may or may not be accurate about them but that's irrelevant if it doesn't match what your inner beings thinking about them 
then you feel the tug you feel the tug and so that's what we're talking about here is finding a way that when you feel the tug to know what it means I'm out of whack with my own desire and my inner being is looking at this differently and here's why you feel the tug that is negative emotion all the way from disappointment to fear and true disempowerment here's why you feel that tug because your inner being knows who you are your inner being knows what you're in the process of creating but here's what's really going on your inner being is non-resistant only love no hate only clarity no confusion and so on and because that perspective that point of attraction is so absent of resistant when the law of attraction when your inner being walks into the field of law of attraction and it does constantly even while you are sleeping when your inner being walks into that field with no resistance there is a powerful calling all of the cooperative components are gathered toward the fulfillment of that you have no idea the power that is working on your behalf and so you ask for it no matter how big or small insignificant or significant it seems to you when you ask whether with your words or with your defiance about what you don't want because when you know what you don't want you're asking for what you do want whether you're articulating it or not you've created a vibrational reality can you imagine what the combined vortices of your human population the culmination of all of that is can you imagine what you've asked for and what kind of well-being is gathered do you know that's why your earth spins in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets and the water moves around the planet and feeds you and you don't have to truck in there isn't any place to truck it in seeds from other places do you understand the continuation of your thriving on this planet and do you understand that that's why you keep asking and source keeps focusing and manifestations keep happening and it will always be so your inner being never on your behalf causes a deprivation of anything that you have evolved to but you do it all day every day he took my stuff out of my suitcase well was it oversized yes was it more ounces than the rules say yes but it's been in there every time feels kind of silly doesn't it feels kind of silly all those things that you use as your reason to not calibrate to what you want your inner being and the law of attraction are gathering the cooperative components we cannot state in strong enough words what that means to you it means you can be or do or have anything one who is in alignment with that kind of attraction is more powerful than millions who are not and so it's time to give up the comparison and the feeling of compromise and the judgment and just start calibrating by wanting to feel good.